Yes, 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 yes. This is New Island Vibes. And this is Asante. Yes, 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 yes. I'm here to ask you a few questions today. What's the question? Why do you like music? Uh, my grand, my grandfather, he always used to play play music um in the house, and I got it from my family from the Robin side of my of my family. Okay, what made you love music? Um, Bob Marley and and a um, guy from St. Thomas name his name was Daddy Friday. He was he was a um the inspiration of um the like soca and stuff like that. What kind of music do you love? Um, I love soca, hip hop, rap. Um, hip yeah, like I said, soca, hip hop, rap, and um, R and B, and um, a little bit of zoop, you know, and buyo. Very interesting choices. So, during your discovery and journey of music, did you face any struggles? Um. Um, yes, it's um, hard to record. I'm just right now. I'm just learning how to record now. So um, s um, soon as music music are coming out soon. I mean, who oh, is just very interesting journey and a wonderful journey that you're going on. So tell me more about your music, the music that you want to come out with. Well. Um, I had I have a, um I I had an idea from a, um a friend of mine. His name is Kyle. Well, I call him Kylo. Well, we call him Kyle. So um he he he's he's from Saint Kitts. He made the beat. So I um what I did I added um some other um instruments inside of the um rhythm. And then one time it was me and my uh, my girlfriend. And then I um one time I just woke up in the morning, played the beat, and I came up with a came out with the hook and came out with everything so it's um you know this came out just, just like that it's came in my head one day and it just came out just like that so when you go to perform and show others your music and your skills how do you how do you usually start off um I go by the the crowd of the the, the people, the, the people, the feet, they feeling it. The first time I performed it was in New Jersey. That was last two weeks for the Christmas party. I, I performed the song and um, I did it for my family. We had like a, a Christmas party, like I said. And I performed um, stroke, stroke Back Your Body Girl. And uh, my, my whole family loved it. And they told me to go ahead with it. And I did it for my mom at um, Thanksgiving. I did it for my mom, and she loved it too. She told me she loved it, and my whole, uh, my son and my uh, my nephew loved it, and my niece. That's amazing. That is amazing. So, I also want to ask you about <clears throat> have any rewards come from this journey, um, whether it be you know, you no know, happiness. Or you know, just um, my 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 lady, she's she gave me a lot of inspiration and my and my kids. That's Asante, and um and and Sherman and and Kalanji, and and my niece, you know my niece and you know Maggie. So she they and oh yeah my nep my nephew too. So they gave me the inspiration and they they like the they, they love the beat and they love how it came and stuff like that. So. You know, so, like that. So, while you're making these types of music and while you're DJing, is it hard or is it just natural for you? Um, DJing is natural because I started in back then when I was in my 20s, like 20, 22, 23. Yeah, 22, 23. Yeah, somewhere around there I started and then I... But now I, I wanted 
when I was young, I always wanted to sing Soka and Calypso, but I never got a chance. I was in a band, the royalty band in, in, um, in New Jersey, but it, it didn't go how I wanted to because they wanted to just do Buyo Buyo, and I wanted to do other adventures like Soka, Calypso, and like mix it up. So, but big up to the royalty massive, Floydy, and the whole family, the whole uh, royalty massive. So um, now is I have a journey to to push my music more. So if say if these songs, um, these music, I mean, say if this song comes out how it's supposed to, and if people love it, I'm gonna keep on doing it. So it's, it's a push for the crowd to you know like it all. Would you say that your love for music came from your from your origin, such as Dominica? Yes, it came actually. It came from Dominica. Uh, I was um, I was born in Dominica, but raised in St. Thomas, U U.S. Virgin Islands. So um, actually, St. Thomas gave me the the like the vision and the um, inspiration, and I'm um, seeing kids. Cause I used to listen to the other bands. My 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 stepfather used to take me to all these um shows. My mom, she was in the Hugger Bunch, in a in a in a troupe. We call it a troupe. It was in the Hugger Bunch troupe and stuff like that. And I used to always wanted to go to jam band and all that stuff. Kind of, but my mom used to take me there, so I always wanted to sing when I was young. So I, you know, I get to Virgin Island people. Yes, Dominica. Okay. So, where did your name, Daddy Jam Jam, originate from? Um, Daddy Jam Jam came from a, a band from St. Thomas, that was Jam Band. And they used to, people always used to call me Jam Band, but they used to make more jokes and like, hey, you Jam Band, because I used to play too much Jam jam Band and Jam Band, so I, I had to cut it down and put Jam. I, it was just Jam, then... Uh, other guy from California, his name was Jam, DJ Jam, so I had to put Jam Jam. Then I put the daddy, because the guy who passed away, he was my inspiration, the so wrote my champion. He, Daddy Friday, that's why I got the daddy, the daddy from, so that's why I put Daddy Jam Jam. So Some people might say Jam Jam, but my name is <laughs> Daddy Jam Jam. But... My artist name is New Island Vibes. New Island Vibes. New yeah. Island Vibes. So you could call me New Island or you could call me New Island Vibes. So how how is DJ? Do you get a lot of competition? Yeah, um DJ DJ is a um is a is a art. You got to you got to Keep put your heart into it. Sometimes you you might get your backlash from other people. Sometimes from your your own people, but you gotta um like you gotta knock that out of your head and just um focus. You know, focus doing other. I say other things, but you just like got to brush them off, and then do your thing. Well, that's great. That's great. I have one last question for you. How does DJing go into your everyday life? DJing go into my life is my kids. If I if 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 it wasn't for them, I don't think I would maybe do it. But it's my kids who make me um do this thing and um my my lady. Um hey, my mom, my grandfather and my aunt. I gotta put them there. Yes, yes, let's give a round of applause. For New Island Vibes. Woo! And, by the way, everybody, 2018, I am coming with three songs. I'm working. I'm working with um, Kyle. That's he's he's a um, he's a producer. So well, he's a, the beat maker. So so he gonna we we're gonna go to the studio and and finish this up. He's gonna send me the beats and stuff like that. So um. I have some other beats from, um, hopefully from Dominique and stuff that are coming soon. So, so big up to everybody. Big up to Luans, 
Santi, Sherman, Maggie, Big Maggie, and big up to everybody. Love y'all. Tracy, oh, you can't forget Tracy and um, Alan Dale and John Charles. Can't forget my whole family in Wesley and St. Joe and Cooley Street. And everybody in St. Thomas, St. Kitts, St. Croix, Antigua, all over the Virgin Islands, and big up New Jersey and Brooklyn. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, okay. This is the beat, everybody, so coming soon. Track coming soon, 2018. Everybody get ready for it. Yeah, yeah, hey.